Good morning. It is I, the villainous evaluer of vintage volumes, vying for viewership. Back with another $5 bin books from Howie, aka the Kingpin of Union Square. Let's, uh, so far, all over the place in terms of uh, age based on back covers. I feel like this one's interesting. I'm not really sure when this is. This feels like uh, 2000s, but it's clearly designed to look like 50s. So let's start here. We've got Bloodlines. Is this 90s or 2000s? This is gonna be 93. So I feel like I just ended up with a couple issues from the Bloodlines event or, or plot line um, from other dollar bins. And so I've just decided, well, I'm close enough to a run. Anytime I see one of these bloodlines that I don't have for a buck, I'm gonna grab it. Um, this does also sort of tie into me trying to uh, jump into a bunch of the 90s Superman, which is uh, sort of an, an offshoot of the Agent Liberty. Is it Agent of Liberty? Agent Liberty? Agent of Liberty? I don't know. Uh, but but the, the Patriot guy, uh, that, that run. Okay, this, is a, this was an easy, 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 easy buy um, for a dollar. Uh, anything that says this, that, that, these two words, right, Gail Simone, if it says Gail Simone, and it's in a dollar, you buy it, you just buy it. Um, this, I actually think this is one of the best runs of modern comics, uh, like, seriously, probably one of the best written stories in the past, I don't know, 30 years of comics, you know, the, the characterizations of, of, I mean, the Scandal Savage and her weird relationship with Bane and Bane's really specific but different characterization like it's wonderful I think Secret Six is it's uh it's very odd that the brand it's it's a very contrived idea right it's just super villains getting together to, to do villainy but like not quite being as bad as all the other villains um and so like maybe they've kind of got some sort of code but they're still bad people you know it's basically Suicide Squad except good Suicide Squad, the movie, the modern Suicide Squad books, they've all been terrible, but Gail Simone really did, like, did a version of that story that works, and it's weird that it's not the version of it that people are making, uh, oh, yep, there you go, another one, I'm in, boom, done, doesn't matter, Gail Simone, Secret Six, one dollar, it's mine, I will do it, doesn't matter how beat up it is, this is literally, like I said, I was talking about this relationship between Bane and scandal and uh, looks like they're exploring it in that issue okay so here we are la guns what is this okay so this is a 90s is this a band why did why do i feel like this looks more like a video game no um so apparently this is a band called the hollywood vampires and an ad for them Ooh, so this is fun um this is another old reading run i put together uh like the first you know, 10 or 15 of, of the Screen Lantern run. And I think I'm just starting to pick it up and uh, continue it. Very fun. Oh, the cute little doggy. Fun little doggy. Big fan. Good times. Very fun. Very old ads. Got some Kilowog with these poozers. Did you say poozers? Hey, broods. He's, he's the poozer guy, right? Come on, give me a poozer. Whatever. Kilowog's always fun. Big fan. Great training officer. And the last book for today is Brightest Day. And ties into the Green Lantern-ness pretty well. So this is interesting. It's another one of these, um, it's it's a reading run, right? I'm trying to build. And so I kind of started into comic books, you know, when I was very young, would have been early 90s, around the Clone Saga, Death of Superman, Breaking of the Bat. I saw that whole thing rise and crash. Um, the first time and so there was this long period of time where i just wasn't reading comics and at some point i ended up working at a bookstore one of my co-workers who knew i had liked comics but had never but was a marvel guy never really read dc was like dude you got to read real comics you got to read the real stories that adults wrote for other stories for other adults and so working in the cafe and he just starts bringing me trades the first one is kingdom come and as a guy who never read dc I was clearly, I knew all the characters, I knew, or most of the characters, I knew most of the stuff just by existing in the comic book world. And the story was great. Like, there, of course, were references I wasn't getting. There were some, you know, when they'd be these giant crowd shots, I wouldn't know a third of the characters. But Kingdom Come blew me away. 
it absolutely floored me how good it was. And so then I just started reading different uh, DC stuff and I kind of just jumped into DC. Now at this moment in time, I want to say it was, when would this have been? Uh, so like at this point, uh, Blackest Night was just kicking off. So my friend basically got me into DC right at the time that Blackest Night was starting. And so then I actually had this great story that I, I loved as a kind of a new reader to DC that one of the complaints for this whole series was that it was like too referential. There were too many characters. And honestly, it felt like I knew enough that it actually was really good at filling me in on all these different relationships, right? You have one guy getting tormented by 20 ghosts and each ghost would basically, in a reasonable way, have a chance to do exposition, right? Explain why this ghost was designed to trigger emotionality in that person would involve, you know, describing the trauma or the event or the, or the fight. And so I really thought blackest day into brightest night, I'm sorry, but blackest night into brightest day was a very fun event that was just so big. Um, and it really did feel like, um, as I was getting into the DC universe, it felt like the whole DC universe opened up to me in this giant event that tied it all together. Um, and then at the times, you know, Jeff Johns was just amazing. There were so many great stories coming out and this incredibly complex and like, you know, line wide event. It's actually pretty good and fun. You know, there are still a lot of fun mean panels and, you know, that are coming out of that era, but ultimately, was a good story. Um, I honestly think Blackest Night might be the last event story I'm going to read ever, like realistically, because there's not been an event since then that anybody said is good, right? Like nobody says, oh, you should check this event out from five years ago, it's good. Everyone might say there's like one tie-in that's good or, or whatever, but really, I think Blackest Day was the last true comic book event. Um, and after, and after that, it's all editorial, right? It actually felt like it was Jeff John's idea, you know? And until somebody is really empowered to do an event of this scale and have some sort of creative control, I just don't think we need these events. So there we go. Um, great books. This is probably not that great. This is probably only okay. These three are just great reading. Um, always get Dale Simone, Dale Simone, Jeff Johns, that's it. Um, unfortunately, we all grow up falling in love with characters and trying to follow characters. And when, you know, when we kind of evolve, we end up following creators, you know? So I'm gonna say the, the, the real hits here are Dale Simone and Jeff Johns. Follow a good writer and you'll get good stories. Um, that's it, good night and good books.